Hi, Dave. Thanks for joining me today for our interview. Thank you for having me. Dave is a member of the Arts League of Lowell and does pen and ink drawings, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about your background. Where have you lived and how did you get to Lowell where you are now? Well, I was originally born in Lowell. I lived in Drakeford when I was about four years old. And then we moved to Malden for several years, well over 30 years. So that's where I did most of my growing up. Um, then I went to, uh, after high school, after graduating high school, I went to Mass College of Art, studied art, uh, drawing, painting, sculpting, etc. art history. Then I moved to Andover for about 15 years and uh, ended up in Lowell back where I was originally from. So here I am for the last six years. Your studies at the Mass College of Art, uh, you summarized that a little bit, but uh, was there anything you specialized in? Did you, did you go into depth and into anything in, in particular? Well, initially I wanted to study painting. And I, I was already pretty, pretty well steeped in drawing, so I continued with the drawing. And then, then I got into sculpting. And I seemed to be pretty good at that as well. So. Um, I stuck with the sculpting and the drawing. Where did you work after graduating? Well, immediately after, I worked in a frame shop for a few years. But I had an interest in collectibles, coins and uh, rare records, vinyl. And I got involved with um, dealing in those uh, uh, two items. Um, I, I worked at a facility that uh, auctioned off rare coins for several years. And uh, I would do trade shows. Record, records and coins, so I did that for about 30 years or more in total. What got you interested in coins and vinyl records? Well, when I was very young, uh, a friend collected pennies, and he got me involved in that. And then I found other uh, uh, denominations interesting as well. And uh, it just grew from there. It just, uh, you know, where was this taking me? And, uh, I learned more and more about it, and I, I learned that perhaps I could make money doing this. I could have it work for me. In the final, the same thing, I have an interest in music, and I collected records. And uh, at the same time, uh, I discovered, you know, collectible records and uh, their values, and uh, then there's trade shows and whatnot to uh, pursue the, uh, the dealing aspect of that. Uh, mm hmm do you still collect uh, coins and vinyl today? No, not really. And I, I never really, I mean, I started out collecting stuff and then I ended up being a dealer. So I haven't uh, uh, dealt with uh, coins or rec records quite a while now, probably over 10 years. Hmm. Um, do, you, do, you still, uh, do you still have any kind of a vinyl collection that you listen to? Do you... I do. Vinyl and CDs. So. Yeah. I'm very interested in music. Always have been. So you do know how to play, uh, you do play bass and guitar. That's right. Where did you, how did you, how long ago did you pick up those talents? Uh, almost immediately after graduating from high school. I was that interested in it, so uh, I went out and bought a guitar. And I had a friend who uh, gave me some beginner lessons. They were very good beginner lessons. And then from there on, I, I listened to records and tried to figure out what was going on there. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so you play by ear. Exactly. Yeah. So. Do, do you gig with anybody? Do you play with anybody else or just, just mainly uh, do it for your own self-enjoyment? Not recently. I, haven't, uh, uh, I used to uh, attend blues jams and sit in with uh, uh, bands, you know, friends of mine that had blues bands. But uh, I never went far beyond that. I still practice uh, um, to this day, but, uh, uh, but not as much. Do you sing? I don't. <laughs> Maybe I could join you. That's, <laughs> that was kind of my advocation. I, I, I should have given it a, a, a try, but I never did. <laughs> you're, now your art is uh, pen and ink buildings. I guess that's the best way to describe it. I, I, yeah. I, I tried to call it architectural drawing, but it's really not architectural. No, a, a drawing from a direct observation. Right. Um, and it, it's not a, a strictly buildings, it, landscapes, still life. Mm -hmm. Anything that intrigues me that I find to be very interesting. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing that style of art, of drawing? 
oh, uh, well over 30 years now, focusing on uh, graphite and pen and ink. Start to finish, what is the process that you use to, to accomplish these drawings? They're very, they're very detailed and they seem to have, they, you know, the, even the brickwork seems, seems very realistic and lifelike. So how do, where do you start from and how do you get to that kind of realism? Well, I, I work from direct observation and I start out in pencil, make sure that everything's in the right place. Pen and ink is very unforgiving, so I want to make sure I know exactly what's going on and where I'm going before I uh, start the inking process. It's a very long process. You know, I, I work with a lot of detail. And, uh, I'm always asked, you know, how, long, how long did I take you to do? And uh, a long time. It's just uh, the nature of it. Mm -hmm. When we look at one of your pieces and uh, try to compare the brickwork with the real brick, what do we find? Um, they're probably not all that accurate. Uh, I'm doing, working from direct observation, it doesn't have to be accurate. It has to appear to be accurate. It's kind of hard to explain. Uh, a lot of it's improv. You know, I'll outline the, uh, the composition Put in a few, uh, uh, few of the details on a location, and then improvise from there. A lot of it's uh, a lot of it's done. I, I started out on location, and then I, uh, most of it's, uh, uh, the, the completion of it is, is mostly in the studio. So uh, probably twenty percent on location, and then eighty percent of it's done uh, away from the subject. So it's uh, that's my process. So what is your studio like, uh, and? Uh, how often do you work on your art in your studio? Try to work every day. Try to. Doesn't always happen, but uh, that's uh, if, if, if I at least try to, I, I, I may be able to get something done. When people look at your drawings, what 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 do you expect them to? What, what kind of feeling are you trying to convey in your drawings, and what do you expect them to take away from the drawings? Well, I, I want to get their attention. I want them to uh, notice them, and uh, it's, it's to me it's um it's a form of entertainment. I want them to uh, enjoy it or at least be affected by it in some way. Um, even if they don't like it, if, if I'm remembered, that's it's important, and it does happen. People do rem remember me. Some people do. Where are you currently exhibiting? <laughs> I have a, a wall space at Z Gallery now and uh, Brush Art Gallery, both in Lowell. And, and by the way, they're both in walking distance of the Arts League of Lowell, where we are right now. Exactly. Arts League of Lowell is at 307 Market Street in Lowell, Massachusetts, and both the Brush Gallery Z and Air Loft Galleries are within walking distance. Yes. You, uh, so you have a show at Air Loft. I right do, now, yeah. Through the end of November? To the end of November. Yeah, the, the, uh, the third weekend of November. Thank you very much, uh, David, for, uh, for spending this time with me, and uh, best wishes to you. Thank best you. of luck. Thank you for having me.